All right. So yesterday was one of the darkest days in American history. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to look into it a little bit of what happened. First of all, before we get into the actual events, I want to start by just getting your general thoughts about what was going through your mind, why this was all playing out, because this is one of those moments where you look back and it could be a legitimate linchpin of like what's going on and how American society goes forward. Kate, we'll start with you. What were your initial thoughts whenever you saw what was going down? Uh, genuine disgust, to be mm-hmm. totally honest, once they were inside the building. Outside, do whatever you want. Wave your flags around, fuck up, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, once they were inside the building and lives were at risk, um, I just felt so, I felt honestly like rage in my mm-hmm. heart. Like I wanted to get down there and be like, get the fuck out of this house. Like, get the fuck out. Um, like pork chop sandwiches, the GI Joe thing. Get the fuck out of here. Holy mm-hmm. shit. Get the Holy fuck shit. out. Get the fuck out. Man, that um, smelled delicious. But also part of me, again, like this little positive force in me knows, well, it's like, we'll get through it. We'll figure it out, whatever. Um, and I started looking immediately because everyone was covering the heavy. I started looking for the funny things in it. And Kyle had a great text to us yesterday. God. There's so many memeable photos coming out of this, but it's so serious. It's hard to like ever. Mm -hmm. Um, But I just was looking for the little bits of humor. The Onion had a great article. Serbia deploys peacekeeping forces to U.S. for Mm -hmm. like change of pace and all that stuff. But yeah, general disgust. Chance? (sighs) Yeah, I I just, I just upset. You know, I I think I've I've made it clear by now to anybody who's listened for a little while. I I really am an idealist in a lot of ways. I like to think the best of people. I like to think that this country is this beacon, you know, on the shining on the hill, and it's the greatest. And the realist in me then comes back at it and says, "Yeah, but we have our warts too. We have our problems." And I, I think that was on display in the worst way when you see these people going into our Capitol building. And for me, the Capitol building is is more than just a a building. I know some people will say it's, it's four walls, brick and mortar, and that's the end of it. But for me, I I, I like to think that it represents all the great things about this country and what this country was founded on and the the principles of, uh, of what we were trying to do uh, when this country was started and, and that greatness. So to then see people desecrate it for seemingly no reason, I don't understand what the objective of going into the Capitol and, and breaking in and, and, and looting and taking things. I don't understand how anyone with two brain cells to rub together could say, yeah, this is going to really accomplish something. So I guess all of that is just kind of just bums me out. And I don't make to make, mean to make it sound cavalier, but it's upsetting. All right. My thoughts is that I think it is a low point of where we've been in the last 40 years. And I yeah. think it's a, it's a, the summation of when you sow something for so long, eventually you reap the bullshit that comes along with it. My feeling is I hate President Trump with the passion and the fire of a thousand sons. I think he is a despicable piece of shit and has been for a long time. I think that the leader of the free world not coming out and having the balls to say something, to go out and wanting to do that, and then talking shit about somebody who's basically sucked your dick like a cuck in Mike Pence the entire time you've been president, I find him to be revolting and the worst of the worst as far as anything that's ever happened in America. I look at him in the same breath that I would look at Andrew Jackson, who was also a piece of shit. I think every time he's mentioned in the history books in America, it should be with a picture of his supporters replacing a fucking American flag with a Trump flag. The fact that the Confederate battle flag was in the Capitol building yesterday and it wasn't during the Civil War is disgusting. And anybody who goes along with that movement is fucking disgusting, in my opinion. I hate it with every fiber of my being. I was trying to be calm yesterday and doing jokes. The more I thought about it over the night and I thought about it this morning, I hate it. He is the antithesis of what we serve for. The fact that they couldn't even, that the Department of Defense couldn't reach the commander in chief to get 
order restored in what is supposed to be the symbol of democracy in the world is beyond the pale. The fact that the 25th Amendment hasn't been invoked already is unconscionable to me. And that fact that Mick Mulvaney and all these motherfuckers, including Jim Mattis, coming out now, where the fuck were you the last four years? Where were you? Yeah. These people who are supposed to be leaders alongside and have great thoughts like the Jim Mattis's of the world and the John Kelly's of the world, they stood by idly as well. And you still have it. Last night, despite the Capitol building being under siege, you still had pieces of shit like Matt Gates going out and saying it was an Antifa. Shut the fuck up. Take responsibility. Take responsibility because your movement caused insurrection. They wanted to do sedition and it was damn near treasonous. There's yeah. just a, 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 a giant lack of fear of consequence r right now. And, and you talk about reaping what you sow. I, I think that is now what we've seen, that, that people can, can go out and obviously, I, never in my wildest dreams would I ever think like I could just walk up and, and start breaking the windows of the Capitol and nothing would happen to me. I, I would think like oh i'll go but to largely jail. nothing happened to i nothing know that's happened. the problem there's 13 arrests that, that that's 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 my point that's the problem the the, the fact that these people did all of this destruction and and i i share your, your sentiment chaps it, it's upsetting to the point that evokes emotion that these people seemingly don't care everything they claim to prop themselves up on that they want freedom and they don't want to lose the democracy to then do the very things that would tear those things down. Yeah. It, the, 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 it, it's, I, I, it's ironic, but at the same time, it's demoralizing as a country that these types of individuals exist and they believe they're doing good when in fact there's no good that came of yesterday. Yeah, and I think too, so many people are seeing the hypocrisy across the board. Like Chap said, there was barely any arrests. And um, comedian Tim Dillon said, listen, if the protesters look like the cast of Love and Hip Hop, they would have used thermonuclear weapons on the place. Mm -hmm. Like, he's right. I mean, look at, uh, there's just a lot of questions coming out of this. And like Chap said to all the people who, like Ted Cruz last night was like, what the heck? Yeah. What the, wow. Him and what? Holly, oh my stop. God. What, everybody stop. What did it, what it's happening? Stop it. It's like, really, bro? Really? All right. Rudy Giuliani oh. saying that we need to have a trial by combat and then being like, I can't believe violence happened. That's not who we are. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot. How of people... do you say that? How... Trial by combat? What year is it? Rudy your, little Giuliani? Purple, your little purple hands would fall off, Rudy. Cut it Gosh. out. Um, but I wanted to go through a timeline of events. I know a lot of people already know what happened yesterday, but as I was going through, um, Kyle was saying this too, by the, I wasn't paying attention all day. And then at the end of the day, I was like, holy fuck, what the shit, what the shit is happening right now? So I wanted to go through a quick timeline of events. And this is ga info gathered from the Associated Repress, uh, as the Associated Repressed, that's me, the Associated Press and multiple media reports. Um, so on Wednesday at six in the morning, crowds of Trump supporters estimated in the thousands prepared for a pro-Trump rally. And they began gathering the night before. A lot of people coming in. Trump tweeted about the rally saying, big protest in D.C., be there, be wild, exclamation point. Around 10 in the morning, Trump's Save America rally began uh, first with Eric and Donald what Trump Jr. stupid fucking name. These people are goddamn idiots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric and Donald Trump Jr. And then his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. And then President Trump started speaking right around noon. And he said, after this, we're going to walk down there and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down to the Capitol and we are going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. He spoke for more than an hour. At the conclusion, thousands walked to the Capitol. At one o'clock, lawmakers gathered for a joint session at the House of Representatives to count the electoral votes. At 1.10, rioters began grappling with police on the Capitol steps. I, before you keep going, yesterday, before everything happened, they got to just make senators shut the fuck up. Like, bit, I think if now that the Democrats are going to have control of the Senate, I wish that they would just say no, and no one's allowed to talk at all for a year. Everybody should, all the senators, all the House of Representatives, every single congressman should just go to their seat, have to sit crisscross applesauce for 50 minutes a day, and then get the fuck out. <laughs> That's yeah. all they should do. They have Dr. Evil up at the, shh, shh. How yeah. about anytime they like cruise, cruise, 
Shut up, Cruz. Go get a fucking haircut and shut up. They have the dog whisper in there with a little spray bottle of water. You get mm-hmm. sprayed or hit in the nose. McConnell walks whisper. up. Don't even think about it. Turn your ass back to your seat. Don't even. Liz, Elizabeth Warren, you go sit down too. Nobody's mm-hmm. talking. Nobody. Bernie. Nobody wants to hear about Bernie, your golden retriever. Bernie. Bernie, stop waving that finger at me. So less than uh, like about 15 minutes later, 1.26 p.m., Capitol Police order the evacuation of the Library of Congress, the Madison Building, the Cannon House Office Building across from the Capitol. It's where we've done a lot of our interviews with to, to make it about us. We've been there. OK, I did feel pretty cool <laughs> yesterday when I was like, she's like, where's the tunnels? I was like, well, what you have to do is you actually have to go down and there's been, they're, they're actually connected, even though you can't see it on the street. They're connected to an underground tunnel. That's where they're going. And listen, Kate's going to leave her backpack in the one building. When you're rushing to the other, you're going to have to go back through the tunnel. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Do you think when you're like a Mike Pence or you're uh, like the pro temp or somebody that's actually in the train of the chain of secession and they are starting to usher you out, me with how like prideful I am, I'd be like, get your fucking arm off me. I'm going to do it yeah. myself. <laughs> don't you fucking touch me. Because like the ones where people are like ushering them out, like, hurry, hurry. I don't want that. I'll usher myself out. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll usher myself capable. out. Thanks. I would have a pair of rocket skates under my desk. But it be babu, but it do. Yeah, be but but it be. Anyways, one thirty three p.m. C-SPAN reports that rioters have crossed Statuary Hall, the chamber that separates the House and Senate, heading for the House and Senate. Some funny memes came out of this one. They were staying within the velvet ropes like an elementary school tour group, mm-hmm. going through the things at first, uh, and then they started leaving the velvet ropes and carrying. Uh, it looked like artifacts around. Not great. 1.40 p.m. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser. Oh, ordered- I did see one thing about that, about the museum artifacts. I saw a reporter who is in Baghdad uh, and she's Iraqi. And whenever she she commented on it, she said, I feel like we need a delegation from the Iraqi army to go over to America to get these artifacts, bring them back to our museum and keep them forever. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, little, a lot of other countries having fun at yeah. our expense yesterday. Yeah. Uh, at 1.40 p.m., D.C. Mayor, DC's mayor ordered citywide curfew starting at 6 p.m., um, and police started asking for more law enforcement reinforcements. 1.46 p.m., Representative Elaine Luria, Democrat from Vermont, tweets she is being evacuated after reports of a pipe bomb outside. Uh, 2.11 p.m., rioters breach police lines on the west side of the Capitol. Moments later, rioters scale the walls. Uh, not to make it about us, this is only about 100 feet from where we once protested Luke, Luke Mitchell's haircut from the code. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so very serious Which area. got canceled. It did yeah. get canceled. Uh, congrats to and us. And then I felt bad when one of the yeah. actors reached out and DM. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the actors just... their jobs. <laughs> yeah, that made me right. feel bad. Sorry. Uh, 2.22 p.m. reports say VP Mike Pence has been escorted out of the Senate chamber. At 2.24 p.m., Trump tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. By the way, he was tweeting these things from the very, very safe, nestled little egg of the White House, where apparently he was just watching this on a TV in like the dining room or something like that. Um, To protect our country and our Constitution. Which might have been Trump's biggest mistake of the day, going after old Pence, because Pence is fucking fed up too, from what I hear now. Mother, you're not going to believe what he said. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, to protect it's our like country. when Reek had that moment on uh, Game of Thrones, where even though he got his dick cut off for a long time, he was like, I'm not going to take this anymore, Ramsey Bolton. You're not going to mm-hmm. do this to me. Mm-hmm. You can only cut a man's dick off so many times. Right. So he says, uh, Trump says, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our constitution, giving states a chance to verify, to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones, which they were asked to previously certify certify usa demands the truth of course pretty much all of that has been debunked and he's just lying uh 2 38 p.m trump tweets please support our capital police and law enforcement they are truly on on the side of our country stay you know, peaceful that makes this me laugh that makes me laugh just because as if there's a person in the crowd that says hold on guys tweet break let's make sure uh nothing's been said let's let's check our our, our marching orders here like come on what, is, what does that do I don't understand. 2.39 p.m. Rioters photographed breaking Capitol windows. And we'll get into this. People are talking about the physical security of that place. They were using plastic shields just to crack open windows and stroll on in. It was like Mm -hmm. so easy to get in there. Kyle made a great point with that. 
and we later found out that was actually on the second floor, but that would be scary to think if that was on the first floor that people could just break into the Capitol through well, windows like that. They probably could still. They're probably crazy. 2.44 yeah. p.m. Shots are reported fired inside the House chamber. 2.47 p.m. I'm sorry. Hold on. Just Let's just pause right there. Shots fired in, inside the House chamber. Where are we? Would you ever expect to see that or read that or hear that in, in the United States of America? Uh, yeah, but mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm, I mean, not, the, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Uh, I'm saying, no, I'm, like, I'm not either. The way that the last four years have gone and like whenever you are, I mean, it's like you put gasoline on wood that has been dried out for a long time and then you start smoking and you just start flicking your matches all over the place. Eventually, when you build in a, a good enough site for a campfire, one's going to show up. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that the shots fired, but just like the, to me again, like to, to have this happen inside the the house that I don't know. I'm sorry that that's just crazy to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I I appreciate what you're saying. Go ahead. Sorry. By 2:47 p.m., uh, Huffington Post reporter tweets images of rioters at the. Am I saying this right? The dais, the big. The dais. They're in the the chamber. They're in the dais there, and the place where they pound the gavel, the main mm -hmm. wearing. All sorts the rotunda. Of, the rotunda. They're wearing all sorts of wacky costumes. 2.53 p.m. Representative Alex Mooney, Republican West Virginia, tweets he has been safely moved from the House chamber. He says others were given an escape hood, a respiratory hood, and a mask for protection in fires or chemical accidents. That's because apparently both sides had been deploying gas and other chemical stuff, supposedly, at this point. 2.55 p.m. Representative Tim Burchett, Republican Knoxville, text shots fired. 3.03 p.m. Rioters photographed on the Senate floor. 3.13 p.m. Trump tweets, I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. No violence. Remember, we are the party of law and order. Respect the law of our great men and women in blue. Thank you. <sighs> I... Hmm. 3.34 p.m. CBS reports a woman is in critical condition after being shot in the neck inside the Capitol. Police re later report the woman died. We'll get to her in a little bit here. 3.51 p.m., the D.C. National Guard, about 1,100 troops, is mobilized to support local law enforcement. And there was a lot of confusion around that, too, all day long, um, all afternoon long. There's a, there seemed to be a lot of even uh, people at the Pentagon saying, like, we, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. Yeah, I was actually tweeting about that because President Trump is in charge of the National Guard in D.C. And that's this is one of the only times I've ever heard of, um, if you guys know of another circumstance, feel free to chime in but whenever they the vice president got with the um with nancy pelosi and with chuck schumer and with mitch mcconnell and they contacted the national guard and the secretary of defense and th that's how everything happened not trump like which that's the vice president can't make that call he's not in the chain of command for the military mm -hmm. at all yeah, yeah um 4.05 p.m., a congressional correspondent tweets that congressional leaders are being evacuated from the Capitol. Um, and in a video uh, tweeted lasting over a minute, Trump says in part, I know your pain. I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election and everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. So go home. We love you. You're very special. I know how you feel, but go home and go home in peace. I mean, each thing gets worse than the next to me. Each thing makes me mm -hmm. more and more full of rage. I'm just keeping a light tone because, mm -hmm. hey, it's Friday, <laughs> Thursday, whatever. Fuck it. Uh, some of Trump's tweets addressing the riot were later deleted. Uh, Tweeter banned the president from tweeting for 12 hours. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Pentagon. I think that part is pretty funny. Like that we're. <laughs> That's how you could stop the communication by being like, oh, nope, you don't get Twitter or Facebook anymore. You can't do it. Yeah. Ridiculous. This up enough. Um, as darkness fell, law enforcement officers worked their way towards the protesters using percussion grenades to clear the area around the Capitol. Big clouds of tear gas were visible. Police in full riot gear moved down the steps, clashing with demonstrators. They were also going through the Capitol and clearing people out. By 8 p.m., Congress reconvened to resume counting the Electoral College votes. The 11 senators that were objecting did not uh, object. Ted Cruz is a fuck face. Who put that mm -hmm. in there? That was me. Um, <laughs> overall, four people died during the violent pro-Trump protests. One woman was shot inside the Capitol. Three others died after suffering medical emergencies. The woman who died has been identified as Ashley Babbitt, an Air Force veteran from San Diego who had served for 14 years. Uh, as of this morning, Congress had certified the Biden win. So I don't know how any of these people 
could could look at that. The fact that, that four people lost their lives, okay? I, I don't know how anyone there yesterday could say anything they did was worth the loss of life. That's just absolutely horrible that no one should ever have died yesterday. That's absolutely abhorrent that because of a protest, because you're upset about something or because you just like violence and you want to cause a bunch of ruckus that four innocent people lost their lives. Now, I don't know beyond they that. They are innocent. One, she, was well, there, no, no. she was there doing it. Well, I, I was just going to correct myself. I, I, beyond the, the one uh, individual, I don't know who the other the, the, the three are, but, you know, it, it, I, I still don't think anyone should have lost their lives yesterday. I don't think they deserve to die. Well, there was representatives from both sides who from Republican Democrat who said we were like linking together, ready to fight tooth and nail to get out alive. And so, I mean, yeah, I think that some of the pictures that we've seen and talked about a little bit where they're in like the office and they have their kick, their feet kicked back and then they're carrying the little thing like that makes it seem a little bit more cute than it actually was. The people right. who are inside the actual Capitol building while the votes were going on were huddled over each other where the. A Demo Democratic congressman who is an army ranger served two tours in Iraq so that it was just like being in back being in Iraq, like where he had a pin out ready to stab somebody in the neck to protect the congresswoman to his to his right, like where he actually thought and not just him, but Adam Kinzinger, Mike Gallagher, people who have been on the show, Will Hurd, were all talking about how that scene at the Capitol reminded them of being in a combat situation where we have and we talk about this and it's going to be the pictures that are going to come out. It's going to make it funny. That moment of people storming in, moving past armed security and trying to get into the Capitol is very much by the definition terrorism. They were trying to stop the peaceful transition of power and the certification of the Electoral College votes. That is terrorism. Yeah, and let's hear an audio clip from former ZBT guest uh, and also former uh, Marine Corps Intel officer, Representative Mike Gallagher from Wisconsin, who it looked like he put this message out from his office while it was going down yesterday. Uh, and you can hear in his voice. He was incredible. I saw him on CNN Live while it was yeah. going on. He's incredible. Let's play the clip. Right now, I am sheltered in place in my office because we have protesters who have stormed the Capitol clashing with Capitol Police, forcing their way into Statuary Hall. The Vice President of the United States was just rushed off the floor of the House by Secret Service. This is Banana Republic crap that we're watching happen right now. And the objectors over the last two days have told me there is no problem with just having a debate. We know we're not gonna succeed, so we're just gonna object. We're going to have a debate. We'll voice people's concerns, and then we won't actually overturn our entire system of representative government. So nothing bad will happen. There will be no cost to this effort. This is the cost of this effort. This is the cost of countenancing an effort by Congress to overturn the election and telling thousands of people that there is a legitimate shot of overturning the election today, even though you know that is not true. We have got to stop this. Mr. President, you have got to stop this. You are the only person who can call this off. Call it off. The election is over. Call it off. This is bigger than you. It's bigger than any member of Congress. It is about the United States of America, which is more important than any politician Call it off. It's over. We also heard from former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis yesterday, who, again, as Chaps has said in his mind and a lot of people's minds, too little too late to be coming out now and speaking out. He said today's violent assault on our Capitol, an effort to subjugate American democracy by mob rule, was fomented by Mr. Trump. His use of the presidency to destroy trust in our election and to poison our respect for fellow citizens has been enabled by pseudo political leaders whose names will live in infamy as profiles in cowardice. Our constitution and our republic will overcome this stain and we the people will come together again in our never ending effort to form a more perfect union. While Mr. Trump will deservedly be a le left a man without a country. Um, and then finally, Barstool. Wow, I, didn't, I didn't get to that. That yeah. last line. Whew. Yep. Uh, and then finally, Barstool's own Frank the Tank. Mm. Um, 
It's time for a new era of Steve Cohen. I would love to see a ballpark village at the Mets stadium with a real Mets Hall of Fame building and a park for fans to gather. Mm. But also the Mets won't sign anybody and Brandon Nemo will have a negative four run game in center. Damn. So Frank, harsh words from Frank the Tank. Mm -hmm. I guess, uh, pardon me, that's the wrong. Anyway, Uh, one other topic, (laughs) trying to hold Katie jokes over here. (laughs) Um, One other thing I wanted to talk about, circling back to it, was the physical security part of it. Uh, uh, Let me put my monocle on as a physical security (laughs) secondary MLS. What the heck? Plastic windows, what the heck? Plastic windows, what the? So the nation's elected representatives scrambled to crouch under desks, find gas masks. Police futilely tried to barricade the building. It was chaos. There was no plan. Once it went down, there was no real plan in place. The mob. Which is shocking because they knew it was going to happen. Like they've been talking about it for weeks. The mob. Yeah, it wasn't something that just sprung up yesterday morning. This was all over social media. This is orchestrated and, and talked about, as you said, for weeks. And they had time, if you look at the timeline from when they walked down to the Capitol, but uh, the mob quickly overwhelmed police. Windows were broken and the windows broke like super easily. There's like mm-hmm. an 80 year old man just like plunk going right through, um, <laughs> forcing open doors, a jittery throng coursed through the Capitol. They were taking and they were taking their sweet time. They were posing with statues and lounging on the desks of senators. They were rummaging through the drawers and going through the loot of our senators and congressmen and women. Um, And uh, a man in a wool Trump hat with a pom-pom on it and a rictus of glee carried off a carved wooden podium bearing the seal of the Speaker of the House. Another walked off with mail. And no, that wasn't me. I saw some people asking if that was me. No, that was not me. No, another walked off with sealed mail for Nancy Pelosi while others marveled at computers still left open with emails on them. Uh, and that brought up the question, do, we don't have some kind of cat card system going there. We don't have some kind of like, what's the Kyle, what are your thoughts on this? So I saw it and someone did DM me. Um, that was a staffer that worked in the building and knew all the passageways and all that. He said, well, that was the second floor. So yeah, got it. But still everyone was up there. How the fuck did they get up there? And like, I get if it's the first floor, maybe you need windows to be broken out by firemen if there's a big fire and they got to get in. Second floor, you could probably uh, put some stronger windows. Anyways, the computers, like one, they were able to just stay logged in with no one present. And they were probably unclass. They probably didn't have, but they had sensitive information, no doubt, you know, contact information. And my, my weird computer cybersecurity brain is if there's a foreign agent in that group, which God, if I'm Russia or China and I have operatives in DC and I have this Come giant through group, the capital day. Yeah. Come I'm on. like, God, you got free reign access to these computers. You plug a thumb drive in and guess what? The solar winds hack is like fucking kindergarten. Now, now you got mm-hmm. complete control. So why they didn't have some sort of a CAC system, some sort of, I mean, you can put USB, you can make a USB key that logs into your computer and when you pull it, it's done. Or it's also possible, I'm sure they have some sort of an IT department in the federal fucking government. No, they don't. (laughs) No, (laughs) Apparently, but that has access to all these computers remotely. They can get into these computers remotely and control them because they have to push updates to them. They have to keep them secure. Why someone wasn't able yeah. to go in and shut the whole network and system down and, and just shut the computers down blows my mind. It's, mm. I mean, we, we saw the solar winds hack and um, representative Kinziger uh, talked about it, but we still just do dumb fucking shit with our tax dollars as far as computer security. I mean, that's just dumb. Just fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. And then uh, also staff members uh, and the way people were talking about who were there said this was like a last minute. Oh shit. We better grab these staff members, grab boxes of the electoral college votes as the evacuation took place. Otherwise the ballots likely would have been destroyed by protesters. There's photos of these women just carrying the boxes out at the last minute, which is ridiculous. Uh, that's the way we do it. Crazy. Like it's a fucking yeah, Oscar that's nomination. Nuts. So that's real nuts. quick. It was, I will say that's a really, it was a really nice box though. You have to say Let my, a really nice box. Can I give my physical security expertise mm-hmm. as yes. someone who went to both physical and electronic security Whoa. school? Mm-hmm. 
we're gonna need more squiggly serpentine entrances yeah. and i'm talking at least 15 squiggles you gotta walk but even if there's no one in line like at a long airport line you're like oh my god i gotta walk through this whole serpentine yeah you do and we're gonna need to raise the curbs by at least six inches mm-hmm. so that's my <laughs> personal <laughs> professional Chaps, more you- spike strips hmm <laughs> You, you, you said a word, uh, I just want to highlight, uh, and that, that word was uh, terrorist, terrorism. And, and I think for the last two decades, we've had it in our mind what terrorists looks like, or terrorists look like, and, and what terrorism looks like. And we're so jaded that one way that you don't realize that, yes, what happened yesterday was domestic terrorism. And I think some people will be afraid to say that and say, no. That would never happen here in our country. Well, it in fact did. So and that, I mean, it is the definition of yeah. it's the definition to, of terrorism to destroy right. the public sense of security in places most familiar to them and in what a politically motivated manner. Yeah, to us than the United States Capitol building. Yeah. Um, and it's it is fucking disgusting. I again, my brain was like, well, just po- point out the funny stuff and whatever. But I was heart sick yesterday, and I felt rage. I I was like. I want to I want to be there I want to get down there fuck I just felt this like FOMO I just wanted to I I it was terrible it was a terrible day 